knowing how your blood uses a buffer to maintain a pH range of 7.35 to 7.45 is a very often overlooked aspect of A-level chemistry. In this tutorial, I'll go through all the facts you need to know and the formula and equilibria that must be memorized for success in your summer examination. So your blood has a very delicate pH balance of 7.35 to 7.45. And one of the buffer systems that's used to maintain this very narrow pH range is the carbonic acid and hydrogen carbonate buffer system. So the carbonic acid is the H2CO3, and the hydrogen carbonate ion is the HCO3- minus that we see on the right-hand side of the equilibrium alongside the H+. It's the conjugate base of the weak acid. Now, there's also some CO2 involved in this in another equilibrium, which is regulated by your breathing, and the hydrogen carbonate is involved with your kidneys, but we'll get to that later. What we need to be able to apply to this particular buffer equilibrium setup is how Le Chatelier's principle can explain how the pH is maintained despite the additions of small amounts of acid or alkali. For example, if your body suddenly had some extra H plus introduced in the blood, then don't worry, because this equilibrium will shift to the left hand side. Why that happens is because the H plus ion can be seen on the right hand side, and if I add some extra H plus in to use up the extra amount and restore the original concentration, the position of equilibrium will shift proportionally to the left and use up some of that H plus in reaction with the conjugate base of our weak acid, which is the HCO3 minus, remember. That conjugate base, the HCO3 minus, reacting with the H plus, moves the equilibrium to the left hand side and the pH is restored. If as well some OH minus was to be present, then that would react with the H plus from our buffer equilibrium, lowering the H plus amount. But don't worry, because the equilibrium this time can shift to the right hand side and some more of the carbonic acid can dissociate, releasing some more of the hydrogen carbonate ion, the conjugate base, but also restoring the H plus ion amount. Your body then does some rather sophisticated work with the hydrogen carbonate ion and the carbonic acid to keep those levels in check. The carbonic acid is actually in a supplementary equilibrium along with H2O and CO2. The amount of CO2 there is regulated by your breathing, and so that keeps that equilibrium in a good balance. The hydrogen carbonate ion, which was the conjugate base of our weak acid, is actually regulated by your kidneys, and excess HCO3- can be excreted in urine. So those are all the facts you need to know surrounding the buffer equilibrium of your blood for your A-level in chemistry. If you did find this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like before you go and consider subscribing to stay updated. For more on acid, bases and buffers, please go back to my channel and have a look through for buffer calculations and also selecting a suitable indicator for a titration. Until next time though, happy revising.